Hi, my pretties, it's the Lion Queen here. Today I am going to be telling you a story of how I got into Telltale's The Walking Dead games. Now, I did make, you know, a few committee posts where, you know, I post Walking Dead um, related stuff, like some photos and that. But some, and I've been talking about them, you know, sometimes, you know, in, you know, Discord servers and etc. But I thought, you know, I go ahead and maybe give it like a full explanation. But however, though, I'm not going to make this as long as I need it to. Like, I'm not going to make this like a full two hours, explain every aspect and every detail of it. But yeah, I did explain about the plot of, you know, all these games. I have not played Michonne yet, so I'm holding off on Michonne for Shadows and Pretties until I played the game. And once I do, I will do a Shadows and Pretties episode on the Michonne, but can't really do it right now because I do not um, know that game. I've not played it yet, but I've played all the Telltale Walking Dead series from Season 1, 400 Days, all the way to the final season. I have played them all. They're very fun games to play, and I really enjoy it. They're really great games. They have a really great storyline. I love the games and all that. So... Most of you guys are wondering, how did um you come across the games? Well, this takes place back in 2012. I think late 2012, early 2013, I was like 14 at the time. I started watching gameplays of people playing it. And I started watching them, and they are honestly really good. I started to like get into the the episodes, like, I started watching people playing gameplays of them because, you know, I didn't have the game back then, but I honestly loved, you know, the games. I honestly was just sitting there and watching and just doing my own thing. But as I was doing my own thing, watching and the gameplays from other people and that, I honestly loved it. So I could definitely say it was honestly really amazing. So when I started watching the gameplays, I started really enjoying myself with the whole concept of it. Because most of you guys, if you don't know, uh, the Telltale Walking Dead game series is not based on the TV show. Because I just want to say, you know, that's just because I'm just going to make <clears throat> part of me about that. But I just wanted to make sure, you know, that you guys don't get confused with the TV show. Now, this is based on the um, comic books. And I don't know if any of you guys have read the comic books. I personally have not read the, any of the comic books, but I've heard of them. So, basically, the first season, it it's all about Lee, who is trying to protect Clementine. But, unfortunately, at the end of season one, he ends up either being turned into a walker or Clementine shoots him because he got bit by a zombie. Now, this is basically, the Telltale series basically plays on the choices you make. So it depends on what choices you make. Like, sometimes certain choices that you choose will have some good outcomes. Some would have bad outcomes, neutral outcomes, or whatever. But when I got into the game, I started to really beg my mom to get me that game. But we couldn't find it in any game stores because it was that popular that back then. I mean, I'm... A lot of YouTubers have actually made a um, made gameplay videos, and they talk about you know this game and all that. Even PewDiePie actually played this game, which I mean I've heard of it, but I mean I haven't watched PewDiePie in like a long time. I think the last time I watched him was back in 2013 or something, but I can't honestly remember because it's been a while. But I can definitely say I really enjoy the gameplay. Of, you know, Telltale's Walking Dead. Now, if I get a game capture card or whatever, I might consider maybe playing that in the future. But can't make any guarantees right now because I do not know. But like I said, I really do think Telltale's Walking Dead series is pretty good. And it is. I mean, with season two, though, I think it came out in 2014 or 15. I can't remember. But maybe some of you guys can refresh me in the comments below especially for those who have played The Walking Dead for a while. And um, Season 2 focuses on Clementine going on with this one group 
after she got separated by Krista and, well, Omi dies, but she gets separated by Krista when some people were going to attack Krista. So it is unsure if she died or not. There are some furies saying she died, but others saying she must have got away and probably possibly found another group or something. It is really hard to say. I mean, you know, there's other characters from season one, like Lily, who later comes back in season four. Sorry to spoil, but, you know, that's just what I'm saying. So I could definitely say, when I was looking at Telltale's Walking Dead, I honestly really enjoyed, you know, the gameplay. I, I like the voice acting, too. The voice acting is pretty damn awesome with the whole concept and that of its own self. Because I really enjoyed um, the concept of it, of its own self. So I definitely would have to say it's honestly pretty interesting. So if I'm being real honest and fair, I honestly, when I started playing the Telltale series, I started to really get involved in the series. So I got season two. Eventually I found season two at a game store and then I got New Frontier, which is season free. But a lot of people really don't like season free. Or New Frontier, whatever you prefer to call it. I mean, that mainly focuses on Javier Garcia and his family, which is Kate Garcia, who later becomes, you know, his girlfriend later on. I know he, she's David's wife, but she falls in love with Javier more. So, I mean, you will have to play the game to, you know, get more of the story. I did make Shadows and Pretties episodes about them, so you guys can, you know, go have a watch at them if you like in my... Shadows and Pretties, um, posts, well, not posts, but, um, I have a playlist dedicated to that, so you guys can, you know, see it for yourself, and see what you guys think, so I definitely gotta say, it's a pretty good, um, amazing storyline with it, of its own self, so I gotta really say, when it came to The Walking Dead, I honestly really enjoy how the concept of it, of its own self was, especially with, you know, Every aspect of it. Now, af shortly after I played season three, well, up to, well, New Frontier, I actually wanted to play season um, four um, when it started coming out in 2018 and 2019. But unfortunately, though, I couldn't play it because I didn't have it for whatever reason. But I eventually found it on Amazon and I got it and I started playing it and it's awesome. I really enjoyed the gameplay and I really enjoyed the whole concept of it of its own self and I honestly really liked it. It's pretty good. So I definitely got to say right now it's a really good um, storyline for what it is. So I guess with that being the case, that being said, I honestly really find, you know, the storyline of... It to be, you know, pretty amazing for what is this is. So, if I gotta be honest and be fair, I honestly, when it comes to the plot line of it, I, I, I start to really like it more than the TV show The Walking Dead, if that makes any sense. I start really liking the Telltale storyline better than the um, TV show The Walking Dead. But, like I said, everyone has their own opinions. Like, if you don't like the show, that's fine. If you don't like the Telltale series, that's fine too. Because while I'm respectful to, to everyone's own opinions, it's always a good idea to respect everyone's opinions in general. But I definitely got to say, I mean, yeah, people can dislike something. They can like something. It doesn't really matter because it's literally you, your opinion of its own self. So I definitely got to say it's actually really nice that... You know, when it comes to Telltale Walking Dead series, I do have a couple fans who like the series. And there's some that don't really know much about it. But I am willing to really say it's a great story. With the whole, you know, concept of it, it honestly has me wondering, you know, how good it is. So I definitely got to really say it's a pretty awesome story. So when it came to that, I honestly really um, enjoy it. So, there is that. I guess with that being the case, and with that being said, I'm going to sit here and just say that, um, yeah, this video is about almost 10 minutes, well, 10 minutes long. But I want to really say, 
I actually got all the games, which you saw my um, collection of it. I do plan to do an update collection because I got the Definitive Edition, which includes all four seasons, 400 days. But it also includes the Michonne games. So I'm going to, I'm playing them right now and I'm like almost done season two, which is awesome. But I definitely got to say right now, it's a pretty fun um, game. So, I mean, the day I'm recording this um, is like um, a couple days from now. But when I upload this, I'm probably, you know, either done completing all the seasons of, you know, The Walking Dead and Definitive Edition or whatever. But like I said, though, this is just my, you know, what I'm saying about, you know, The Walking Dead. So if you like the Telltale series, um, let me know what your thoughts are in the, in the comments below. And also, if you happen to, you know, have anything that you want to bring up that I might have forgot or missed, feel free to do so in the comments below because, you know, I like to hear what you guys think. So anyways, this is just my own opinion on, you know, the Walking Dead series and how I got into it. If you don't like the Telltale series, that's fine. If you like them, that's cool too. If you're neutral with it, whatever it is, you are free to state your thoughts in the comments below. I'm the Lion Queen. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. And if you're new here to my channel, like and comment, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications to when I upload. And as always, I'll be seeing you all in the next video and roll the outro because I'm out.